Hello, hey, welcome back to another episode of Grinding with Borgman, episode 24. Whooper, how's it going, man? Welcome back to the stream. Happy Monday. Uh, thank you so much for joining us again. Welcome back to my attempt at uh, creating some semblance of structure within a life spent at home. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. That's good to hear. Uh... Hopefully, uh, temperatures aren't dropping too fast for you. Um, but, uh, so today, as always, we're going to be hopping right into, uh, into those gesture drawings and getting our, getting our grind going. So, here we go, let's roll those dice. And listening to them, 93 is the first one we get, and 93 is gonna be... Let's go ahead and get a different color there, boom. Down here... Look at this guy, ill-prepared, ill-prepared. All right, 93, stacking. Stacking, all right, stacking. All right, uh, so then, rolling them again. Uh, let's see, 71, 71 is vom vomiting. We already did vomiting, I think. So we're just gonna do 84, 84, 84, 84, 84, balancing, just did balancing on Friday, no, come on, we're gonna have to start picking and choosing, cheating the dice, 46, uh, hanging upside down on a cliff, okay, hanging, that was there. The, the in parentheses was upside. Man, that was just our second one. How many dice rolls did we have to do for that? All right, 43. Wait, did I just, I literally just, oh no, 43 was blocking. We, we already did blocking. Wait, here we have it. Number 100. Wait, where's that? Yeah, yeah, that's... Well, we got zero and double zero. So actually I'm confused. Is it 100 or is it 10? Or is it zero? No, it's 100, stargazing, stargazing. How beautiful, stargazing, number 100. Here we go, and then 50, 50 even. Uh, yeah, that is 100, yeah, okay. Um, 50 is clapping. Wait, I already did clapping, we already did clapping. My gosh, we're getting a lot of repeats already. I just got 50 twice in a row. What are the chances of that on 2D10, huh? Um, 31. 31 is examining. Turning him into a scientist. Examining. Uh, and then 86, which is going to be tying a bandage or a bow. Oh, actually, I got an idea for this one. That's going to be great. All right. So let's go ahead and do our through lines. Um, so when you're stacking something, oh, well, let me hop back to the chat now. All right, there we go. Um, let's just let's just take a little peeksy poo. Oh, well, thank you so much, everybody, for in chat, who's just in chat. All right, um, stacking. We're going to go, let's see. I feel like, yeah, just, you know, nice little... That, that little bit right there. Um, hanging, they're upside down, so I'm gonna go. The, the through lines aren't, they, they, they don't have to be, you know, like <laughs> super <laughs> uh, different. All right, stargazing. Well, that's a very. I don't know. What? Because that's such a placid pose. It's not like an action pose. Like, I mean, we can make it an action pose. All right, we'll make it an action pose. There we go. Examining. 
Um, hmm. And then tying. There we go. Okay. So here we go. Opacity, cutting that down. And then right up here, let's hop right in. Set our six minute timer. And here we go, skis. All right, stacking. Oh no. Was it was it made in Russia? Maybe Putin just like executed an order 66 on all laptops made in Russia. They all suddenly start only being Russian Russian language. Working out the kinks. He needs to lift with his legs more. He's got wisdom. But again, you know, when you can't get injured or you can't feel your injuries because you're high on opium the whole time. Remember, we're drawing our, our character world here, so. That informs the decisions that we make. up there. God, I want to draw cartoony all the time. I just, I love the, I love that for a box instead of, you know, that. But anyway. All right. Be safe. go stack of other stuff right here you know otherwise why why is he it's not stacking you know I gotta look more into the the uh, gadgets gosh See, I got that, that Google issue. I looked up what those sandals were on Google, and now I can't remember. I just remember a G, a J, and an I. My brain didn't process the information the way I could have had I read it in a book. Written a book report about it. It's all making sense now, people. All the things we hated. It's the why. So that way we're not dependent. Skynet's coming. You gotta feel the weight yourself. You gotta uh, do the, how heavy is this object, you know? How much is it acting on him? You gotta make the sound effects or else you'll never know. <laughs> All right. 
Sorry, there's a truck backing up outside. Nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. They're done. Tell him to back up on his own time. Hey, hey, we're recording in here? <laughs> Unknown Twitch streamers are the uh, entertainment equivalent of Yelp reviewers. Um, excuse me? I demand special treatment. <laughs> Could you keep it down? I'm recording in here. My, my viewer base is unhappy. Do you want me to have to talk to your people? Get your boss on the phone. They're not going to be happy when you f they find out whose stream you interrupted. Wow, his forehead is huge. Made that a you got a five head. It's amazing how much difference just that small amount can make. Oh, that would be the end of our timer. All right, moving on to the next one. Hanging. They had said something about a cliff upside down, so I feel like that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. And start that timer. Yeah, no, it's it's amazing. It was like how to change how to change my stereo, you know, do my own car repairs. I mean, I'm not gonna take an engine apart for a car I need with a YouTube video, but I can learn how to take an engine apart with a YouTube video, which I think is truly amazing. Gotta include that gravity. stretched out like this, your rib cage gets really exposed as your because 
it like tilts it up and all your abs get depressed as they get stretched out. See, and I don't want to be doing these right now. God, I'd so much rather be working on the painting we've been working on, because that thing is starting to look real nice. It's a lot of fun. But we gotta keep grinding, you know? We gotta do the daily chores. You gotta do your wow chores. These are just real life wow chores. <laughs> and if you think of them that way, then you're like, oof. I don't know if I should be playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> so never think of it that way. Voice up or the music down a little because you can't hear me that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Turn the mic in. We'll just turn that mic audio up a little. Hanging. Oh, oh. We got a drawing. Oh, I like your interpretation of hanging. It did say like upside down from a cliff or something in parentheses. Uh, so, so it meant like the physical. But I applaud your outside the box thinking, Axo. I'm a fan. Are you just taking taking the the grinding with Borgman drawing class now? Is that is that what's what's occurring? Like that. There we go. Uh, you your <laughs> apprentice. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. There's your. All right. So six minutes back on the timer. Stargazing. So with this one, wow. I just have all the figures facing the same way. This is, this is bad. This is bad. Bad news bears. But <sighs> no big deal. No big deal. We can do this. All right. Here we go. Stargazing. All right. Uh, so, I, you know, normally I think of stargazing, I think of, like, lying on your back. But I'm like, you know what? No, there's a legit version of stargazing, which we're going to showcase here. But I had them all facing the same direction, so... But then if we do this little zigzagginess, then we create this nice little... Nice little uh, composition, you know, a little boom boom composition right there. It's good stuff. Boom, right there. Hikes up the pants when you... He's doing the... Doing the squat. Everybody knows that squat. The... Dang it. You need to... Sh you want to show me something, but... Now I have to squat down to look at it. Squat. Sorry. Maybe not everybody knows that squat. That squat is a major part of my life. <laughs> I'm six foot ten, so I don't know how many centimeters that is, but it's a lot. So this is this is one of my this is one of my major squats here. I'm I'm familiar with this squat. <laughs> I 
Uh, yeah, 100%. Don't you? Oh, no, wait. You're not that tall. No. <laughs> Get height, son. No. <laughs> it's funny. People often are like, oh, man, I wish I was as tall as you. And you're like, man, eh, you don't think about the difficulties. My friends purchase houses based on whether I can fit in them or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh right yeah you are 611 yes yes we've talked about that there's gonna be a lot of repeat topics man i'm i i have a lot to say but not a lot to talk about so <laughs> and even less that i understand you're just X plus one, whatever I say. <laughs> I've been arrested 10 times. Exo's been arrested 11 times. That... <laughs> That's amazing. No, uh, have not ever been arrested. I've been detained, but I've never been arrested. Uh, actually, the, the funniest... I've been deta detained several times. <laughs> the by far the the funniest detainment that I experienced was uh, some kids some kids friends started a fight with me in 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 middle school and then uh, and then the other friend got scared so they like s grabbed some cops and had them come and I, and I got put in the back of a police car. <laughs> 12 years old. Bad boy here. Bad boy. Regular bad boy. Uh, but uh, as I was being walked to the police car, one of the one of the, the children, the ne'er-do-wells, came up and asked if he he said he was on probation, so uh, he, he please don't tell the cop that he was kicking me too. And I was like, what you what you what? What? <laughs> And, uh, that was my first introduction to Snitches Get Stitches. But, uh, it, you know, I, not... I, I... I don't know, I feel like that snitch definitely deserved a stitch. <laughs> or didn't des I felt like snitching didn't deserve stitches for that one, you know, it, it, if I do say so myself. Hey, yo, don't, don't tell the cop you shot me, or I shot you, okay? Like, come on, bruh. <laughs> I mean, heck, nobody's gonna want to shoot you anymore if you, if you tell, if you tell the cops every single time you shoot, you get shot, like, like. Yeah, maybe in your, uh. Maybe, maybe in your happy-go-lucky, you know, Finland, where prison is a vacation. <laughs> they fly in Amsterdam red light district, ladies. Just, did I not restart the timer? Oh, folks. Oh, I was like, this feels like it's been good. I'm not concerned about the time right now. Why? Why am I not? Because I didn't restart the timer. See, see what I do? See what I do? I'm a cheater. I cheat. And this is why the police are after me. <laughs> see, here in America, we punish our criminals. <laughs> Especially if you're not white. What? Is that, is social commentary? See, I don't want political commentary. I feel like that's just more social commentary. <laughs> It's a fact. I'm sorry. We have a lot more incarcerated ethnic groups than white people. And that's all I'm going to say on it. Or else I'll start doing accents and then you'll have to picture people. And it's like, whoa, I don't want you picturing people because... <laughs> I mean, that's on you.
All right. But anyways, since we forgot, yep, he's looking through an eyepiece right there into a telescope gazing at them stars, yo. Boom. We gone done did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and start fresh with examining. Which, God, man, so close to the stargazing, I feel like, in this... <sighs> All right, but whatever. We'll just keep going. Keep dragging these exercises along. All right, resuming. Here we go. Train my hand drawing because you... Yeah, um, I actually... Uh, there was just this really fun hand drawing that I did um, my first go around in school where uh, you just created uh, nine boxes and then you just drew nine different hand poses. Um, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it because then I started... That's... Because, you know, ultimately I'm kind of a storyboarding kind of comic book artisty kind of person I, I i like action i like i like movement uh so then i had like the planes break the uh, or the hands break the planes of the boxes and interact with each other between boxes um and uh really enjoyed making it my own that way but it was a really good exercise i it was just my left hand over and over again because i was looking at my left hand while drawing with my right because <laughs> You know, gotta have that uh, reference. And rather than look up specific hand poses, leaning over a table, examining something. Down, down. There we go. That's where his head would be. Remember, your neck is mobile. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that, apparently. He's definitely got a little sass in his hip in this one. gonna need to figure something out with his hair so that way it's not dropping in front of his face all the dang time just saying you know figure it out dude wow we're cruising through this one So, Exo, I have to ask, am I your break from work, or am I, like, like what? where do we fall in your work day? Here. At Grinding with Borgman. Am I a hobby or an excuse? <laughs> Quick little, wait, no, let's wait till after this one. Then we can do our sip of water. Then we can do our hydration break. But everybody's keeping themselves hydrated. Oof. 
No wonder we were flying through this one. It's terrible. There we go. And then we just erase in. Erase. Er then we, then we, then we erase in. Erase in. Nope. Then we erase in the lower lip. <laughs> All right. God awful. Come on. There we go. All right. I'm a little happier with it, I think, now. There we go. We have 40 seconds, people. 40 seconds. Let's let's do this. Oh, itch in the eye. on to the next one it's not a strong start but hey you know it's Monday it's whatever <sighs> day one of our daily exercises for the morning okay there we go starting it up and boop redeem ourselves here though Deltron 3030 in it. Here we go. Hope y'all are ready for this. This is this is gonna be this is the sickness right here. This is the redemption arc for our for our tale. Our tale of drawing woes. I know y'all are already feeling this stylization right here. Oh, this is the Borgman. This is the this is the Borgman mode. Getting 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 back into what we love. Boom. There we are.
Here we are. Here we go. Coming in. Coming in hot right here. Oh, what's that? What's that? That's an elbow. Oh, uh, yeah. And then making a fist because what's he holding? That's right. His sword. His sword, mother drugger. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Like that. Gotta change it up real quick. No, you know what? No, this is still the this is this is what we decided. So this is the this is the move. We made a choice. We're sticking with it. Boom, boom, boom. There's the bandages. I always love that kind of like geometric cloth when you have a strip of cloth that's flying around in the sky in the air. You know, very like. Like, like, and it. I, I imagine the cloth making that noise instead of, uh, you know, something else. All right, we got to get his face in there. We got forty-five seconds. Twenty seconds. Come on, darken up that line. Wait, we don't have time. Ah, oh, the alarm. We missed it. All right. See, got a little too free with it, but there we are. Our six warm-up figure drawings. Uh, no, I don't own a Switch. I would love to play Breath of the Wild. I've heard nothing but good things, and they, apparently they've been working on it a lot um, since it came out, like adding more stuff to it. But you know, I ain't got time for that. Um, warm up. Uh, nine, twenty six, twenty two. Boom, saving it right there. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Where it's on the Wii as well. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, I don't have a. I guess I have a Wii U, but I don't even. I don't even take it out. It's been packed up. I've moved so many times and it gets used so rarely. Well, shoot. Man. But see, you know, I also would have loved a, a, a Switch for um, uh, Smash Brothers when it was relevant, you know. It's a shame nobody cares about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure Breath of the Wild is awesome. I've got... Um, I, I just... Uh, I also have, like, just a lot of games to play and not a lot of time that I should spend on gaming right now. Um, that's a, that's a big issue, you know? Uh. All right. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the right one. Don't pay attention to this, everybody. This is, this is something else. This is a different project. 
Ignore, ignore this. My god, this thing is huge. How many gigabytes is it? Goodness. All right, well, while that's saving, we'll open. So that way you can stop looking at it. Look at this bad boy. Hopping back in. Here we go. All right. Um, I was just watching stuff on like the Brazilian elections coming up. And essentially, you know, they're concerned that they're going to have a January 6th situation there. It's interesting to me. But, hey, staying away from the political stuff here on Borgman Designs. All right. <laughs> here we go. So, where were we at? In yeah, we were finishing up. We were still working on FCG here. So, let's hop back in. Uh, maybe we need to up the energy a little bit in this music here. Let's hit, to, hit the next one. It's called stillness. So I don't I don't know about that. My gosh, give me the give me Give me something with a little Here we go. Thumbs up on this. There we go. Just need a little pep in my step here. Coffee's not not working, just making my hand shake. myself a lot today <laughs> make sure that I'm not going crazy say then we added these in the back here oh I've got chat covered up gosh what am I doing um so breath of the wild let's see uh I, yeah, I definitely need to play Breath of the Wild at some point. Um, I am saving any kind of like, n the other thing is I'm trying not, because I have so many video games that I haven't beaten yet, I'm trying to go back through and beat games that I haven't beaten yet, and, um, and also not spend money on more games when I haven't beaten games yet, you know? And there's a bunch of stuff that it's like I, a bunch of stories that haven't been been heard so I gotta finish Jedi Fallen Order unfortunately thanks to YouTube I know how it ends now um, but well to a certain extent um, but it'll still be fun I love Souls likes and I love Star Wars so a Star Wars Souls like makes me very happy I love how it's called a Souls-like, but that was li like Dark Souls is literally like the two. The, it's the 3D version of most 2D game styles, like from back in you know back in the the days of like first gen consoles, and uh, and and now it's like its own genre. But that was literally just like kind of what games were. You had you 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 got checkpoints, and you had means of defeating enemies and you uh utilized frames uh, <laughs> to you know register whether you got hit by their attacks or missed their att they missed you know you missed them or whatever but now it's its own genre instead of like 
like Metroid got to keep its genre because it, it invented one, but like nobody's like, oh, you know, like, well, they have roguelike. But still, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's nobody's like, oh, it's it's uh it's a it's a ghost it's a ghost and goblin goblins it's a it's a G and G. That's all I'm saying. Ain't nobody ain't nobody hit dropping those those titles those those categor categorical. All right, there we go. Then we're gonna merge these layers. Merge, merge the layers. Oh no, no, not merge visible. We don't want to merge visible. We want to just merge these. Hey, what are you doing to me here? Oh, because I have a freaking clipping mask. So you want this layer merge, and then you want this layer merge, and then you want to do okay, and then you want me to start a new clipping mask because you are a finicky little punk called Photoshop. Quick water break, everybody. Mm. Breath of the Wild left the story open. Left left a, 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 another Breath of the Wild. Is it going to be Breath of the Wild 2? Is it going to be something else? You know? Like, Breath of the Domesticity. Breath of the Urban. The Legend of Zelda, Urban Cowboy. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Legend of the Werehog. But yeah, cool. I uh, I really liked um, uh, the one where you're in a boat. Who Toon Link in Smash Brothers is named after? Yeah, no, I I understand what you meant. What one is that? What is that one called? I even can picture the box art. <sighs> My brain, I tell you, it's just not what it used to be. Um. Um. When we're when. Wind Waker. That's what it was. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I was like, I know, I know, I know what it was called. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, I liked Wind Waker. And I liked the the story, like, when you find out that, you know, it's set, like, way far in the future. It's literally, uh... Ah... So you're a you're a, a Skyrim fan. You're a you're a, 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 a Elder Scrolls fan, and somebody was like, "Yo, we got we got Elder Scrolls and Zelda," and you were like, "Okay, okay, time to try Zelda out." is turning in space really awkwardly. Hmm. I mean, it looks pretty correct. 
I guess if we do it like this. Just a little more there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, just bought, um, we just bought, uh, my little future brother-in-law, Kerbal Space Program. Uh, he's already dumped, like, just, just, you know, just recently, and he, he's already dumped, like, 18 hours into it in, in like, three days. <laughs> so, I feel you on that with the physics and stuff. Love the physics. Although I know Kerbal is not an open world. I'm aware, everybody. Please. It's okay. There we go. Gotta just work out some of these little kinkies here, you know. Well. Little... Little... Switching it back. See, that's why it's helpful to have the uh, good old fashioned. Uh, quick switch for the. So I have mine hotkeyed to control I for inverting the image horizontally really fast, you know. Grab some of this, put that over there, ching, ching, ching. and then this one, ching, ching. no rust, there's not going to be any rust where things are constantly in contact with it because they'll just knock that surface rust right off. All right, what was that? Uh, oh, oh, cool. Um, yeah, no, uh, actually, I I just reinstalled New World because I was like, oh, you know, let's see what kind of work they put into it and stuff. Um, and it's looking good. And uh, I, yeah, I, I'm hitting, finding things that I, I, I always love that reasons like I don't like the fact that people dog on cyberpunk so hard because it's like you can you can spend a lot of time in cyberpunk 2077 and you'll find new stuff every time you play practically you know until you've dumped like a hundred and something hours into it and I'm always you know I, lo I love that 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 level of world world building where they encourage exploration and it, it's like a you know it's it's a, a showcase of passion to a certain extent and it's also like sort of a love letter to fans like you who are you know wanting to go out and explore everything that it's like hey you know it's like a thank you for for taking the time to explore everything that we put in this for you you know so I always love it when games do that. Oh shoot, I gotta call. Gotta call some family members today who are in Florida, cause make sure that things are gonna be, that they're fine. Big old storm coming true. So if you know anybody in Florida, you know, just make sure they're gonna be. I think it's also the one that smashed into, one of them smashed into Puerto Rico, yeah. But, yeah. Haven't, haven't uh, played any Spelunky, um, not even like super familiar with it, but I know that you explore a cave system. <laughs> Only because I know what spelunking is. 
<laughs> bolts. Remember, people, you put the bolts on. Now with the bolts, you can put rust around the bolts because water will collect in the cracks and then you get... So water collects in the cracks of the bolts and then you, your bolts get rusty. And, and it's no good, you don't want the rusty bolts, but you, you have rusty bolts because... Because water gets... it gets everywhere, you cannot stop it. I mean you can bolts it's a very shiny day we will determine what color the cut the, the the light is after we are now just establishing the light source and the highlights it's going to be a little more yellow a little redder but you know my goodness wow that is quite the chain of events uh, you, you get hit by a bat, the bat pushes you onto your own bomb, then you fly off the bomb into spikes and you die. That's a, that's a, you, you've set up a, a Rube Goldberg machine of death. Um, arguably the best way to be a villain, of course. If I were a villain, people would be like, <laughs> I would have the most intricate machines to, to kill my <laughs> James Bond-esque figures that come after me. Uh. Mr. Gond. TM. I see you've fallen into my trap. Welcome to the end game. Bolts. We put the bolts. It's more like rivets. We are riveting it. I think they do the rivets because pieces are they're just like bolting through metal as much as they can. They're like they're like we are going to affix this to this location regardless of whether it wants to be there or not. Whoever bolted these together never heard of the Me Too. Oh, ho, ho, there it is. Yup, yup. Okay. Bolts, bolts, bolts. Okay, they, we are going to have to fix these bolts. I do not like these bolts. We're going to have to fix this a lot. I don't like it. The way you do things. No, I do not like. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I uh, those those kind of games. Um, I I don't like trying to have to just figure out the formula of inputs. The, that's not really like my favorite kind of game and it always feels that way for me when games are like that where it's like so difficult there's only like a, a set number of ways that you can like you know complete an objective or like um Whew. Need a little more water. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna be going. Okay. And then we're gonna add that rustiness to this. <laughs> um. Although I, you know, I will say I did, I did enjoy Super Meat Boy. That was a lot of, but there's a lot of different ways to do things. And then, and then after you complete it and you, they're like, Hey, here's all the different ways you died. I'm guessing Spelunky has a similar mechanic.
think I need more water. My water bottle is now empty. Not a good thing. look good once we get the rust so we're gonna have to go like really we're gonna have to get some serious realism up in up in here with these uh, panels this because then it's like they really are just weaving these things together and there would be rust all up in this grab that brown I want this to be like because all the wa any water would just drip into this area Corroded. Caro did. Caro demo. All right. I want to hit this with a little, little of that action. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it's just eating away there on those those ridges. Yeah. Like that. Oh. Okay. Then here we go. We're gonna hit this up. Wanna hit that? Just right there. Nice little bit, bit of rustiness around there. Some tarnishing, metal corroding. It's not well kept. It's a poor area. Well, I don't know if it's poor, but it's not. It's a mean area. For sure. Oh. oh, that's the sound of the coffee pot, everybody. But you know what we have to do? This, because there's not going to be a shadow right there is coming directly but there will be a shadow right here just like that and that's actually going to carry over we're going to grab this up here because i want it to look like it bends around some see oh ho ho what's that what's up now i know you like it you like me now get that rust up in there yeah toasty likes it that's what I'm talking about all right gotta it's kind of you gotta be like a typewriter almost where you're like 
you know, you just like working on details, like and then back to the start and, you know, work on some details and you, you gotta, personally, I have to move around. Some people, they are, they are very good about just like, it, like they would just scan just you know detail 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 like all the details from and move in one direction i kind of i like to float around uh, a bit more oh cracking that back here we go so this is gonna have like a rusty top but also going to the metal is exactly like this I want to have because this is a part that's going to be getting a lot of action. It's going to be scored, scoured clean, scoured, polished. So then I want to grab like maybe this right here. I'll do this to show nice little divot. We'll make this color right here. And just do a little. A little transition right here in the to give it like a, a bit of a more of a blade shape because I also want this to run right here so let me grab that back This one, we go up a bit, and then so then on the side this one is actually going to like not get a whole lot right there maybe like that well no because sun's kind of or this the light's kind of coming that way so we'd actually be more in the opposite direction this this way Go, go 
this way. I'm going back to not being precious with stuff. So, yeah, it seems like we're actually. Yeah, we want to darken up uh, the foreground planes because those are the ones that are in some shadow, you know, uh, based on all the other decisions that we've made. Oh, well, not sure. Oh, pen just died. I was like, why is this not working? All right, switch the pens out. Second, folks, sorry. Seems our tablet may have just had a little hiccup. A hiccup. There we go. And we're back online. All right. So I actually want this still to be that brown color up there. more of that. We want to streak it out a bit. Uh, Diamond-like stuff, but it's even tougher? No. Um, oh, uh, they, I mean, like, are, are you referring to, like, like the, um, the carbon stacking kind of stuff that they're doing? Where they're creating, like, lattice work of carbon at, at a and it's super lightweight but super strong because I have heard of that but I haven't heard of any synthetic or non-synthetic tougher than diamond stuff this section out so we can go right into it because I want it to be a bit of a darker color based on the decisions we just made for lighting choices and stuff so see there we go we'll just cut it out to protect the other portions but then we also 
things I want to accentuate those edges. Decision making going on, her. Excuse me, my apologies. I like being that much darker there, and then we'll tie it in with that color from up here. Similarly, right here. Pew, right in the sun. Then we also want to get those interior reflection moments from the other metal. So this harder than diamond stuff is Lonsdelite, Deliite, Lonsdelite, or also called hexagonal diamond. It's from meteors containing graphite, and it's 58% tougher than diamonds. Wow, that is very impressive. I wonder uh, if De Beers is going to make it 58% uh, more inflated than diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely very cool outer space diamonds um, what's funny is diamonds are not they're not they're not rare it's an artificial rarity artificial scarcity but um, like especially there are massive diamonds floating around underneath the crust underneath the crust of the earth you want some diamonds, you go digging down there, boy. You gonna find diamonds. No, but that's super cool. Outer space diamonds. Anything outer space. Way better. <laughs> Stop speaking fast. Yeah. Don't let them know the truth. Humans are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years older than we originally thought. Currency was created to keep you docile. that nubbly job. And then we take this one, we go. 
we take from back here. Nope. Nope. Ah, that's that's fine for now. We'll figure that out a little bit later. We're gonna be going through another cleanup phase, you know. Um. All right. So now I want to take this to shine this up. Oh, no, we don't want that. That's what we want. Calls. I'm telling you, man, the worst. Ugh, I actually hated it. That was my least favorite part of middle management was work calls. <laughs> Can't you just leave me to have these people get this task done? That's what I'm here for. This thing is absurd looking. All right. So, we're gonna have to kind of take a bit of a, what we might do, look at all this. Look at, look at the, look at the difference there. What, 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 what? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, English is the worst language in the world. <laughs> um, all right. What I think we're going to do here is create just a little bit more. I feel like I should do the other stuff first. But just guess not that much. But just no. Maybe come back in and clean this portion up. Mm, yeah, sorta, of, yeah. A bit, a bit, a bit like that. Might have. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out another time.
let's go ahead and just keep working on the structure instead for now. Right? Right. So. We keep, yeah, just keep working on the other stuff and then we'll go ahead. Uh, the characters that I've drawn, so these are from a um, stream streaming group, uh, Critical Role. They do a Dungeons & Dragons podcast, essentially. Uh, so there was just a scene. I was catching up on episodes while I worked on other stuff. And there was a scene from the show that was just making me laugh really hard. And they were all having a good time. And uh, it was a it was a funny and also great moment in the story. So I really wanted to just draw it. Um, so uh, this would be Fresh Cut Grass, uh, their cleric, um, Chetney Pocopy, their I don't know, rogue slash frontline guy. And then uh, Laudna, who uh, who is a, a warlock and she's in her, her form of dread. It was just a very, like, heavy metal 2000 moment that they described. Like, just this, you know, steampunk slash, like, industrial rage desert walker mech that they had converted one character into the front wheel the old man was driving and on the back was this spindly looking woman uh with like black goo coming out of her her eyes just going <laughs> as uh, her like jaw unhinges and she casts all these like creepy shadows so it was just uh, something fun that i wanted to do um so uh yeah this is this is it so far and uh, and then it's nice because then we'll just record the whole thing and then we can uh edit that together and turn that into a little video and stuff so um it's gonna be a good time uh but i need to refill my water get myself fed and also get these shoulders just rubbed out a little bit um from hunching and exercising and stuff so uh we're going to go ahead and start taking care of that stuff since it is just two minutes before the three o'clock hour. We'll end that, end this here and um, uh, get back to work on it later. Um, yeah, stream, stream, stream ends at, at three o'clock my time. I think nine o'clock your time, six, six hours ahead or are you seven hours ahead? Nine or ten. Um yeah, sorry, bud. Um, just uh, you know, got to take care of stuff. Um, this is this is the warm up stream. This is the grind. This is the uh, getting our daily daily workout, artistic workout in, and it's it's for helping myself and other other people. Yeah, a global time would be good, but every country would want the global time to be their time. You know. You're, you're right there. You're talking, you're talking globalism. You're, you're the, you're part of the, the socialist elite. <laughs> oh man. A zero degree line. But who ultimately created longitude and latitude? <gasps> oh, excuse me. Was it at the British? It was either the British or the Dutch. I feel like, you know? maybe the Portuguese, whoever the best maritime people were, uh, when the orbital, the, the, the orb like nature of the planet was discovered Magellan, you know, um, coordinated universal time. All right. That is what, uh, your presidential campaign is founded on is the establishment of a coordinated universal time. And I'll vote for you. Let's do it. <laughs> all right well uh on that note thank y'all so much for joining me today um thanks for for hanging out with uh with me in the stream checking out the channel um hope that uh you know you managed to to get some good work done um we didn't get as much good work done but we got work done and that's the important thing right um we're gonna we're gonna save this and then Let's see, let's see the kind of work we got done. You know? Not bad. 
not bad. That was that was what we did today. And it looks even better when you zoom in, you know. Now. But so regardless, just you know, even if even if you didn't get a lot of good work done today, at least hopefully you got some work done today because that's what this is about. This is about grinding through the stuff we don't like to do, establishing good habits, helping each other out. Um so hope y'all enjoyed. Check us out, Borgman Designs on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch. Um, like I said at the end of last week, we're still uh, updating the websites and stuff. So if you are um, interested in seeing what kind of prints we have available, uh, we are revamping everything, and I'll have all that up and running for you by the end of this week. Um, and uh, we appreciate all the support that um, you give us. So thanks again and uh, hope you'll have a lovely day. We'll see you tomorrow at 1.30 for another session of grinding. Um, so keep putting, keep putting the love out there. Keep making the world a more positive place for each other uh, to learn and grow and um, you know experience new things. So thank you all so much. Have a great day.